bit later but now what is happening in the country today it goes straight about the looming showdown in Azmio and Shadan is looming between the Azmio coalition and police in Muranga County today this after the Azmio coalition insisted it will go ahead and hold a town hall meeting despite the cancellation by county police commander David Matthew Azmio leader Raila Odinga has instead told Muranga residents to turn out in large numbers to discuss issues affecting the country. Ketian's political affairs reporter Daniel Kariuki has more. Days after Azimio coalition held a rally at the Kamkunji Stadium in what appeared as a return to their town hall meeting, Azimio is now headed to Muranga County, their first meeting in the Mount Kenya region since the August 2022 elections ended. Azimio leader Raila Odinga in a statement released to newsrooms has welcomed residents from Muranga County to attend the meeting that will discuss pertinent issues. He says, and I quote, like all engagements that the party has held in recent months, the Muranga meeting will be peaceful and strictly within the law, end of quote. But as Odinga promised a peaceful engagement, the police have outrightly rejected Azimio's plan to hold the meeting, sparking fears of a standoff. According to Muranga Police Commander David Matthew, Police have been deployed elsewhere as Azimio were late in the submission of their request. However, Azimio insists the meeting is still on. And I want to tell Mulanga residents and other non-shareholders that the meeting will be on tomorrow. Light to assemble is a light. And I want to warn them that if they interfere with the meeting tomorrow, then we shall, we shall face them head on. Former Muranga Governor Mwangi Wairia says the police are aware of the meeting and should not interfere with the meeting. According to the constitution, we are not supposed to seek for permission from police. It's like people going for a church service and then the police men are telling them that they need to give them permission. As we are politicians, we don't need any permission from any police officer. Kenya Kwanza leaders have told off Azimio of a plans to go against the law. According to the law, however, Organizers of meetings only need to notify the police of their meeting, unlike the past when the police issued permits. Now they are telling us they won't be there. They are assigned somewhere else. Who told them that we wanted police officers? Let them uh, uh, do as agreed with their uh, Kenya Kwanza uh, counterparts and let them begin the talks so that we can move forward as a country. Wairia is the latest entry into Azimio meetings, having graced their rally at the Kamukunji Stadium Sunday. It is not the first time the Azimio coalition has found itself on the receiving end of a request for police security at their meetings or rallies. When they say they want to have their town hall meetings beginning in Muranga and the police in Muranga are saying they are also engaged elsewhere and that uh, uh, the date that they have chosen is not convenient. That means if really they are supposed to go on with this uh, uh, town hall meetings, then they should move it to another date. And why really move to another date when there is provision for them to, to begin the talks? You know, Kenya is far much bigger than, a, that, than individuals, than conditions that each leader is uh, uh, providing. All eyes are now on Muranga Thursday. Daniel Karioki, KTN News. And as eyes will be in Muranga, KTN News will be stationed. There will be